Well, hello, uh, everybody. This is David Tal. This is the Balagan Connection. And uh, I'm standing here on the edge of the Judean Hills overlooking the coastal plain or, or the area of Tel Aviv. And uh, this is going to be a quick update so we know what's happening now and, and how that's going to impact what's going on because there's a couple of major changes that have taken place. Let's start off with the beginning. This is day seven. Actually, it started Saturday. This is Friday morning. The death toll is horrendous. The stories coming out of an ISIS kind of killing spree that took place in, in the kibbutzim and in, in the areas in the south is are horrific. We're hearing stories of, of babies and, and, and I don't know if you're getting some of the footage of burnt babies and, and dogs shot in the street. I mean, that kind of craziness that we're, we're talking about. We're talking about 130 hostages that are inside Israel. Men, women, children. I mean, that's the situation right now that we're dealing with. Israel has been calling up its reserves and, and hundreds of thousands in reserve. We're all getting kind of on a war footing. You go to the supermarket, people are, are buying up things to send to soldiers on the front. Uh, and, and I will start uh, with a ministry called Netiva which is connected to Gijon Springs. You can see that on my link. We will start taking uh, van loads of equipment to soldiers in different places all over the place. This is Israel on its war footing. But a major shift has taken place uh, this morning uh, because the uh, IDF actually publicly told the residents of Gaza City, if this is the Gaza Strip, there's a Gaza City on the edge of the Gaza Strip. It probably houses about uh, 800, 900,000 people. And Israel told the residents of Gaza City, leave Gaza City because we're coming. Leave, go to the south, go to the southern part of the Gaza Strip. Uh, and that actually is probably an indic indicative of a ground attack that is probably going to take place in the next day or two. And what Israel is doing is moving the population out, moving the civilian population out, telling them a civilian population to get away from the war zone. So first of all, we can be able to do what we need to do. And second of all, to minimize the amount of civilians that are going to be caught in the crossfire. Um, that's going to be happening soon. Uh, the interesting thing that I just now heard is that Hamas has told his people not to leave, which means we're giving the warning in order to minimize civilian casualties. And the Hamas is telling its own people, stay there, and we are using you as human shields. And again, this is a part of the war that is going to be taking place. I need you to know this because, again, the pictures are going to be coming out. Pray for the young men that are going in. Pray for everything. Pray for leadership to make the right kind of decisions. Support your government that has supported Israel until now very, very, uh, very, very interestingly. And, and just we're going to see what's going on. This is David Tal on the hills of Judea overlooking Tel Aviv. This is day seven. This is the Balagan Connection. Follow me. Check out if you want to support Gijon Springs and Nitiva. I will be probably filming a couple of films of, of us and what we're doing there tomorrow. And, and we can connect to that. Shabbat Shalom. And I'm not going to say this is going to be a good period or a nice period, but let's pray that this ends as quickly as possible.